Today the topic of discussion is selection sort. So what we'll do today is that we'll understand what is selection sort, what are the steps involved in selection sort, what is algorithm of selection sort and we'll iterate each and every step of selection sort. Okay, let's start. Okay, so selection sort. So the definition says that selection sort algorithm sorts an array by repeatedly finding the minimum element considering ascending order from the unsorted part and putting it at the beginning so what we are trying to tell over here is that in an unsorted array we'll try to find the minimum element and the moment we find the minimum element in an array we'll put in at first position we'll again start the same position procedure from second position we'll find the minimum element in the remaining list and we'll put in the second position and we'll again try the same procedure and will do repeatedly okay the algorithm maintains two sub array in the given array so what algorithm do is that it maintains two sub array okay what is the sub array which is already sorted okay for there are there will be always a two array one which is already sorted and one the remaining sub array which is unsorted so there will be two array one which is sorted which is which we are sorting and another from which we need to sort the element okay in every iteration of selection sort the minimum element from the unsorted array is picked and moved to the sorted array so this is what we actually do in every iteration we'll pick a element and we'll try to sort it okay let's see consider you have eight pair of shoes starting from number 6 to sizes 13 the sizes of pair of shoes are 6 to 13 and they are messed up you find them not in order they they are all around the room their arrangement from smallest to largest will be an example of selection zone so if you want to arrange that what you will do will you just find the sixth pair first because six is the smallest and you will put it in a beginning position and then what you will do you will find the smallest next the smallest which is seven you put in the second next position of beginning and then the eighth and ninth and tenth and eleven and twelve and thirteen okay so this is the procedure you must have seen the same procedure while you go and purchase the clothes while you go and purchase the shoes there are always written a number size six size seven size eight size nine and size ten so this is a kind of selection shot they always apply so let me show you the steps okay just try to see the steps very clearly okay see this there are five elements one is the minimum it will take its first position again in the remaining element two is the minimum it will take the second position again in the remaining element three is the minimum it will take third position again in the remaining element fourth is the minimum it take the fourth position and the five the remaining one is already sorted so the number is sorted okay so let's start with the algorithm of selection sort so here is the algorithm of selection sort from number one to number 70 these are few steps and make it sure i'll try to explain you each and every steps very clearly make it sure you you're going to understand this algorithm very easily okay let's start okay the array is 77 44 29 11 and 22 we need to sort this array using what selection sort algorithm okay what is this this is the block this is the block of while loop the first while loop which is starting from third line and it goes till 16th line then there is a if block which is starting from sixth line and goes till 10th line and there is also a for block another loop which is starting from fifth line and goes till 11th okay so you have to keep this you know uh, area this scope in mind because uh, we need not to uh, go to the wrong area or wrong part so that our algorithm do not work exactly what we are trying to build okay now now let's make an array okay so this is an array i'm i'm making an index in this array this is the first index this is the second index this is one is the third index this one is the fourth index and this one is the fifth index let me copy the value okay let me change the color let me change the color to blue so it will look nice to you uh, the first element is 77 the second element is 44 the third element is 29 then 11 and then 22 okay so let me trace an algorithm for you in first we are calling a function in second we are creating a variable okay and in third what we are doing we are comparing we are taking making a loop while j is length of less than length of a the length of a is what five element so it will this array will move till five, five element so i'm writing this length is what five this length is what five 
what where I should write. I should write five, five over here. So this will move from uh, one to five. The current value of j is one. Okay. Then what we are doing is what we are putting minimum. We are putting putting minimum. We are putting a j in a minimum. A j. What is a one in a minimum? Now first we consider current value of j is one. We are considering minimum as a one. What is a one? Seventy seven. We are putting seventy seven over here. Okay. Fine. Again, we are entering another loop, for loop. For i is equal to j plus one. What is the current value of j? One. One plus one will start i from two till length of a that is five. From two to five. Okay. Okay. Let's start. Is minimum. What is there in minimum? Seventy-seven. Is minimum is greater than a two? I is two. Is minimum seventy-seven is greater than a two? Yes. Seventy-seven is greater than a two. So in that case, the condition is true. Since the condition is true, we'll move inside and we'll put minimum a two in minimum. So now the minimum value is forty-four. Obvious. It is obvious. If I am saying seventy-seven is minimum and second element is forty-four, the minimum is forty-four, not seventy-seven. Okay. K is equal to i. A new variable k and k is equal to i. What is i? The current value of i was two. Let me write i also. I should write i over here. I think i is equal to two and the current value of j was one. Uh, now what we'll do? We'll put k is equal to i. I is what two? We'll put k is equal to two and flag. There is a variable flag and we'll put flag is equal to one. Okay. Okay. We'll come out of the if block. We'll See the end of for loop will go inside outside for loop. No, first we need to check the condition. We'll again go up and see that is will what will go again up and what will do will again increment the value of i as, as per the loop. Will increment the, the value of i. I will now become three. Three is less than five. Yes, three is less than five. Will again go and check is minimum now minimum is forty four. Is minimum is greater than a three. What is there in a three twenty nine? Yes. 44 is greater than 29. Then 44 is not minimum now. No condition again true. What we'll do? Minimum. We'll put minimum in a i. What is a i? That is a three. So we'll put a three. That is 29. Now minimum value is 29. Okay. We put k is equal to i. The current value of i is three. Now k is now three. We'll put flag is equal to one. Flag is already one. Okay. We'll go out of the flow. Uh, if block will again uh, end of for loop will not go out of for loop. We'll first check the condition. We increment of the for i by four. Is four is less than five? Yes. Now we again check. Is minimum what is there in minimum now? Twenty nine. Is twenty nine is greater than a four? Yes. A four is eleven minimum. Even twenty nine is greater than eleven. Very true. Then what we'll do? Again condition is true. We'll go inside. We'll put minimum is equal to a four. So what is there in a four? Eleven. Now the current minimum is eleven. K is equal to i. The current value of i is four. We'll put four and flag to one one. Okay one. We'll again come out of the flock for loop. We'll again go and increment a value of i. The current value of i is four. Now it become five because we can go till five. Okay. Is minimum? What is there in minimum? Eleven. Is eleven? Is greater than a five. What is there in a five? Twenty four, twenty two. No, eleven is not greater than. Now condition becomes false. Now condition becomes false. Since condition become false, will not move inside the for loop. Will not move inside the for loop. Will come out of the for loop. And what will do? Will again in, try to increment value of i. What is the current value of i five? If we increment the value of i, it becomes six. Since it cannot go beyond five, condition false. Will come out of the for loop also. We came out of the for loop, and now we check is flag one. Yes, flag is one. Is flag one? Yes, flag is one. What we do? We swap. What we do? We swap a j and a k. What is value of j one? And what is value of k four? What do we do? We swap a one and a four. The moment we swap a one and a four, what will happen? Eleven will come over here, and forty four, and what was there? Seventy seven. Sorry, and seventy seven will come over here. Okay, so what you have seen, what you have seen, see the beauty. The in smallest element has came to its position now. The smallest element has came to its position. Eleven is the minimum. It has took its position. Okay, what we'll do after swapping? We'll increment j. We'll increment j. J is now two. J is now two. Okay, flag is zero. We'll put flag to zero, and we rub all these things. We rub all these things again. So. Again, what will happen? End of while loop. It will go again to the while loop. It will check is two less than now. Current value of j is two. Is two less than five? Yes, two less than five. Condition true. 
will move inside will put minimum will put a2 in a minimum what is 2 40 what is what will put aj what is j2 to a2 in a minimum so what is uh, in a2 44 will put sorry minimum is equal to 44 okay we start from i is equal to j plus 1 current value of j is 2 so we'll put start from j plus 1 that is 2 plus 1 we'll start from 3 till length of a that is 5 we'll start from 3 to 5 okay fine okay now we again come inside and check is minimum what is there in minimum 44 is minimum is greater than a3 i is 3 is minimum 44 is greater than yes yes greater than 44 is greater than 29 condition become true condition become true what we'll do we'll put minimum a3 in minimum what is there in a3 29 so the current minimum is 29 okay we'll put k is equal to i what is k what is k what is i we started i with 3 sorry we started with i with 3 we put k in i that is 3 we'll put k value of i in k that is 3 we'll put flag is equal to 1 so flag is 1 okay we come out of the if block okay we'll again go and increment value of i now i become three to four okay now become four okay we'll again come inside and check is minimum is minimum what is there in minimum 29 is 29 greater than a4 for no 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 a4 there is 77 and 29 is not greater so we'll not move inside the if block okay fine will come out of a block will increment a value of j uh, sorry value of i the value of i now becomes 5 fine we again check is minimum what is there in minimum 29 is minimum is greater than a5 what is there in a5 22 yes 22 29 is greater than 22 so what we'll do we'll put a5 in minimum what is there in a5 22 we'll put 22 in minimum we put k is equal to i what is current value of i 5 so k become 5 okay we put flag is equal to 1 fine we come out of a block we'll try to increment i but i cannot be incremented anymore because i has already reached 5 we come out of 11th line that is out of for loop we check flag is 1 yes flag is 1 what we'll do we'll swap aj what is j2 we'll swap a2 and ak what is k5 we'll swap a2 and a5 so see what is there in a244 and what is there in a522 so have you seen 22 will come over here and 44 will come over here and now you see the beauty that second element is also sorted now you see the beauty that second element is sorted let me copy 11 was already sorted now 22 is also sorted now 29 77 and 44 okay now what will what will happen now see will again increment value of j now j has was 2 now it become 3 we put flag is equal to 0 we put flag now to 0 now we delete all these values will because we have to start from beginning again okay since 3 is less than now in line 3 the j will be compared with length yes 3 is less than 5 fine fine it will move inside it will it will put a3 what is j3 a3 in minimum what is a3 what is a3 29 so we put 29 in minimum fine okay we put 29 in minimum fine and what we'll do now we'll put 29 and again we'll start here repeat for j is equal to uh, i is equal to j plus 1 what is j3 3 plus 1 what is 4 we'll start from 4 to 5 the current value of i is 4 okay okay now we check is minimum what is minimum 29 is greater than a4 what is there in a4 77 no 29 is not greater than 77 so we'll not in move inside the if block will again come out will increment the for loop for loop now become for increment for loop i value i value is from 4 to become 5 okay we now again check is minimum what is minimum 29 is greater than a5 what is there in a5 44 what is there in a544 no it's not great 29 is not greater than 44 okay so we'll not move inside the if block we'll come out the if block we'll again go and increment the value of i since value of i has already reached 5 it cannot be further incremented condition false will came out of the loop is flag is equal to 1 no now flag is not 1 have you seen this because 29 was minimum and it remained minimum 29 was minimum and it remained minimum so we'll not swap it is flag is equal to 1 no so if flag is not 1 will not increment it will not increment it and anyhow will not increment okay so will not increment it okay uh, uh, let me clarify you this this if block is this okay this if block is this 
okay this it will not get incremented okay so what will happen will increment value of j but increment value of j j becomes now 4 okay okay and flag to 0 flag is already 0 let me rub all these things okay okay let let me tell you now again it will check is 4 is less than 5 yes because the current value of j is now 4 4 is less than yes will put minimum in a4 in minimum a what is a4 what is a4 a4 is 77 so we'll put 77 over here okay now we'll go in this loop we'll repeat from j is equal to 1 j, i is equal to j plus 1 what is j4 4 plus 1 5 so we'll move from 5 to 5 this means there will be only one iteration fine now we check is minimum is greater than a5 what is there in minimum 77 and what is there in i5 a5 44 yes 77 is greater than 44 yes condition becomes true what we'll do we'll put minimum in what will put a5 in minimum what is there in a5 44 so what will happen 44 will come over here so 44 will come over here minimum okay and what will do will increment uh, what will do will put k is equal to i what is i what is i we started i with 5 we started i with 5 so k will also become 5 fine okay and we'll put flag is equal to 1 okay we'll put flag is equal to 1 we'll come out of, of the if block we'll try to increment i but i cannot be further incremented because it started from 5 and it cannot go beyond 5 so condition becomes solved we come out we check flag is equal to 1 yes flag is 1 is flag 1 yes okay then we'll what we'll do we'll swap aj and ak what is j 4 and what is k 5 so we swap a4 and a5 so we swap a4 and a5 so what will happen 44 will come over here and 77 will come over here and now see the beauty 11 22 29 44 and 77 okay fine okay now we'll increment the value of j what is the value of j now the value of j is what 5 we'll put 5 over here sorry this j will become 5 okay minimum is equal to a5 what is a5 77 then minimum will have 77 now see <laughs> is we'll start from j plus 1 we'll start from j what is j5 5 plus 1 will start from 6 and we have to move, move go till 5 so condition becomes false over here the moment condition becomes false will not go anywhere will come out of the loop the moment it, we have also put flag is equal to 0 in a previous step flag was 0 okay flag was zero okay so we'll not will come out of the flag for loop and what we'll do we'll check is flag one no flag was not one because flag was zero because while coming out we put flag zero so we'll not swap it we'll increment j j become what j become j become six okay the moment j becomes six we put flag is equal to zero flag is already zero and again we'll go up and check is six is less than five no six is not less than condition false and loops terminate so we'll make again an array that is 11 22 29 44 and 77 and this is the sorted array and you can see how the selection sort is taking place and you can see that how the selection sort is taking place that now the collection element is already sorted